Okay, welcome back. Um, we are also now continuing our discussion on optimization problems. And here's a very common optimization problem that we want to be able to set up. And a lot of students have a lot of hard time setting up um, this equation, which is a rational function, um, and then obviously solving it um, using optimization and find the maximums. So, what we have is a rectangle page uh, that contains 24 square inches of print. Okay? Um, you see this in a lot of textbooks. textbooks. Um, what we have is this rectangular page, and inside we have 24 inches of inch square print. Now, the margins at the top and bottom of the page are one and a half inches. So, we'll put 1.5 inches here. And then we have margins on the left and right that are going to be one inch. One inch right there as well. Okay. Um, what should the dimensions, we're looking for the dimensions of the page so that the least amount of paper is used. All right, least is a key word, and we're looking for a minimum. So that's how we know it's a, uh, a optimization problem. Okay, well, looking at this, um, there's two different ways you could solve and try to figure this out. Um, one way is we're going to set this up, okay, and I'll, I'll set it up this way where we're going to have Find the dimensions, we're going to find the area. And to do this, we're going to have x and we're also going to have y. Okay, x and y. All right, because we're looking for those dimensions. Now, when we set this up, we're going to have x and y. Well, we're going to find it with by finding the area, which is length times width. And we'll have x and y right here. Now, the problem is we have three variables. So, in order to help us figure this out, we have to eliminate one of these two variables. To eliminate one of those two variables, find another. Problem that we can use that was do that. And here, my friends, is that part. 24 inches of the picture inside there. Um, we're going to find the area of this, okay, or the dimensions for that by using the information that's given. So the first off, this length, which I was outlining before, right there, is going to be all right, x minus each one of these margins, which will be x minus 2. We'll then find this part, all right, which will be y minus 3. Now, I'm going to solve for y. Solving for x. So, solve for y. Now, to solve for y, um, we're going to divide both sides by x minus 2. And then what we're going to do is we're then going to add 3 and we'll have y by itself. Now, to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to take this and we're going to get a common denominator. So, we have 24. And then we'll have plus um, 3 times x minus 2 all over x minus 2 right here. That's going to equal y. I'm going to continue just to simplify this. 24 plus 3x. So all I'm doing right here is just making this a little bit nicer. So when we plug it into our final equation, it uh, works out pretty, pretty slick. Um, 24 minus 6 turns into 18. So I'll just put that right there. 18 plus 3x over x minus 2. Now that's our y, and we're going to take that equation and plug it into here. So we have a equals x, y, well y we find out is equal, equivalent to 18 plus 3x over x minus 2. All right, and that's our equation right there. Um, from here, we can distribute this x through, okay? And what we have then is a equals 18x plus 3x squared all over x minus 2 right there. Um, from here, what we want to do is we want to find out what is our um, derivative. Okay, so once again, we're looking for the minimum, all right, the, the least amount of paper, so we're looking for a minimum. So we're going to find the area, okay, we have to use the quotient rule. So we're going to find our critical points, I'm sorry, I should kind of plot this out, critical points. So we're going to find the area of derivative, set that equal to zero to figure out our critical points. All right, or it doesn't equal zero, but that would be it. From here, we're going to go and we can take, uh, we have 18, take it for the top, plus 6x times the bottom, which is x minus 3. Minus the derivative of the bottom, which is 1, times the top, which is 8x plus 3x squared. And all over x minus 2 and x minus squared. Well, we're going to just take the numerator here, and we're going to set it equal to 0. So we'll do a little uh, algebra to help simplify this. So we have 18x 
we'll have plus 6x squared, and we'll have uh, minus, it's going to be 36, and then we'll have 36, and then we'll have minus, uh, it should be 12x. We'll have minus 8x, and minus 3x squared. Zero. Uh, and this into subtract, and we'll have minus two x. This right here of the minus thirty six just hanging out right there. Equals zero. We have a nice quadratic, so we'll have three x squared minus two x minus thirty six. So that equals zero. All right. I should use the quadratic formula. And that's what we want to go through and um, I want to give you all the, all the answers. So from there, that is going to be our value and that's going to allow us to find x. So hopefully that helped out on what you would do. So once you find x, then you can use that to find out the remaining parts. And here, we'll solve for y, and that would be the dimensions for the least amount of area being used. All right. So, um, another optimization problem involving um, the good old um, image, all right, print inside of a rectangle, and how to solve that. This is usually done with rational functions. So, that... Uh, all your other problems are great and glorious. So good luck and God bless on the writing ones.